Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the daily Apple report for Thursday, August 3rd, 2023. Before we click through all the charts, I just want to encourage you to please click like if you haven't already. Also, become a Wicked Stocks YouTube channel subscriber. Share the content, if you would, with friends and colleagues. And check out wickedstocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos, just like the daily Apple report, daily analysis in the SPY and the Triple Q, weekly analysis in the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and the Long Bond ETF, the TLT, as well as two individual stock picks a week in 5 to 10 minute video format that you never see on YouTube that cater to the 3 to 5 week swing trader out to the 3 to 5 month near term investor. Always looking for 20% moves on those underlying stock picks and we offer a 5 day free trial up front. So uh, if you don't like what you see after 5 days you can bow out with no charge whatsoever to your card. Anyway, Let's jump to the charts. Big picture first, work our way into the day itself. Long-term buy signal still, believe it or not, remains in effect uh, following that settlement several months ago above the 169.18, sorry, 169.17 channel top, anticipating 223.76 as a longer-term objective that is still in reach by the end of the year. And I say that, yes, uh, but, you know, um, possibly uh, by the end of September. I'll get to that in a moment. And that actually has a lot to do with whether or not we can continue holding above 192.63. 192.63 is the channel bottom to the 204.98 channel top. We've been trading inside this zone for several months. We tested the channel top uh, actually about three, four weeks ago, came very close to testing it again a couple of weeks ago. We've actually come close over the last month to testing the 192.63 channel bottom, but we are in the midst of testing it right now. And 192.63 is really the start of a range down to, and uh, do I have that chart? Yes, I do. 191.91. So it is a range between 191.91 uh, and 192.63 that I've already shown uh, that can absorb selling through August trade. We are at that point here. This is the area that if you were short, for instance, over the last few days, you're definitely taking profits or you're hoping and praying, if you will, for a settlement below the 192.63 down to 191.91 region. I'll just jump to the jump to the chase here. If we were to close below uh, the 191.91 level, don't forget 191.91, 192.63 shown here. Let, let me talk about the day itself, that of course, if we break 191.91, 189.69 in reach, we could bottom out here actually for the day. And if we bounce back to close at or above this 191.91 to 192.63 region, uh, we are still in the midst of just a mere bottoming process that can uh, uh, result in bullish continuation as we move into uh, later August, the 204.98 formation in reach over the next few weeks, holding above this low 190s longer term support. Now, if we close not only below 192.63, but of course below 191.91, this is actually the day trade here or the potential scenario where we break or open below 191.91, we tag 189.69. And once again, if we can close at or above 191.61 and ideally above the 192.63, area, then yes, this uh, 204.98 formation in reach over the next few weeks where we could top out on a weekly basis and if settled above should then yield 215.85 within two to three more weeks. This top formation, uh, six months in the making, converging with that 223 area uh, anyway as we move into later August. And this is the scenario where if we close above 204.98 over the next few weeks, then that longer term objective I've been mentioning at 223.76 is in fact in reach by the end of September or sooner. Now for the downside, talking about 192.63 and again talking about um, the 191.91 level. If we, I've already talked about the scenario of breaking this area 189.69 in reach, but if we close clearly below 191.91, I do think this area down here at 177.42 to 179.84 becomes our next two to three week target. 177.42 to 179.84, able to contain selling uh, through the rest of the year. We are still in the midst of a long-term buy signal, uh, don't forget, above the 169.17 
formation. So, you know, if we were to fall into uh, the upper 170s, this would be an area that could contain selling through the rest of the year. And once again, closing below 191.91. If you bought those 200s or 205 or two, yeah, 205 out of the money calls I mentioned with respect to the 20498 area, if you bought out of the money calls and your time frame is two to three weeks or so, I would recommend in covering the, that position and perhaps then reaching for 180 out of the money puts that don't expire for at least a month because closing below 191. 91, I'm expecting this uh, area, this band of support, channel and speed line support that's projected off that January low within two to three weeks where we could bottom out through the rest of the year and from here turn higher again. And that is the two to three week time frame. Uh, we are bullish above 192.63 still, anticipating 204.98 over the next few weeks. And inversely, if we close today below 191.91, which is this simple channel structure here that is still a month in the making, if we close below 191.91, expect the upper 170s over the next few weeks. It's about as simple as that. Let's talk about the day itself. I don't think I, I do actually have it shown here, I believe. 195.93 intraday resistance. I don't know if we'll see that today. That's actually above Wednesday's 195.18 high. But if we do, it can contain intraday strength. And, um, you know, overall, just know that holding above 191.91 right now, the three to five day time frame uh, is actually constructive, of course, up to 197.59. 197.59, I don't expect to see that today. Uh, I do say that if we close above 195.93, we should see 197.59 tomorrow, where we could place a daily high, perhaps fall back into the low 190s again within several days. It would be a settlement above 197.59 that would tell me we have a good low into later August, the next week or two, then likely to push on up to that 204.98 channel top. And keep in mind that holding above the low 190s, this is bottom picking territory, uh, you know, and uh, above which the 204.98 formation in reach over the next few weeks. In other words, if you're an options trader, for instance, uh, you could reach for 205 or 207 out of the money calls that don't expire for at least a few weeks, or you're just going long Apple itself right now. But once again, be nimble. If we happen to close today below the 191.91 formation, once again, this is the scenario I'm expecting to unfold, which is to say all the way south into the upper 170s over the next few weeks. You know, I think I've said it uh, about as much as I could say it. There's not much else to say. So I'm going to leave it at that for Thursday's Apple Report. You have a great evening.